Hello. Hi. Welcome to June Self Growth Diaries. This is crazy. It's insane that already six months have passed and we are getting closer and closer to the next year. This is really crazy. However, I do have a feeling that all the months merged together and they just became one big month or this big timeline this that just basically does not change and it's all the same maybe it's because of my current lifestyle and that i'm basically kind of stuck at home but it definitely felt like it just one big blob june is the shortest month out of three months in the summer but it felt like the longest today is july 15th and july just flew by june was so freaking long and i don't know why june for me was a very interesting month honestly it was a very weird month and a month where i definitely had to confront a lot of my emotions and just be face to face with them and ask myself why do i feel that way why do i react a certain way i definitely realize that whenever something surprising or unexpected is happening or happens it really puts me out of my orbit and i overreact and i do not appreciate it because i can also see myself from distance and see how i react to those things and I'm like, Juliet, you are overreacting. But me in this present moment, I think it's the worst thing that is happening. Like, for example, I did not get a job that I really wanted. And it is what it is. You know, rejection is protection or... I, I do think I'll be okay and something's better is waiting for me and eventually I will be okay. But in that moment it did hurt because it was after the interview and it told me my interview was great. But if my interview was great, why was I not hired? <laughs> Weird, right? But it did hurt me. Although I told myself I am not expecting to get a job and I prepared myself and I knew that I would not get a job. Yet still, I thought that was the worst thing that could happen to me in that moment because I thought the job was perfect. And despite the fact that I got so many job rejections over the past year, it's still very hard to get a rejection. And I think I'm at the point where I am done with overreaction because one way or another things will be resolved it's not the end of the world and for me it's like i idolize people and events and jobs and i think oh my god this is the perfect job or this is the perfect friend but it's never like that nothing is perfect in this world and if not this job another job if not this friend or if not this person you'll be friends with someone else and i know that even from like my relationships because i you know, whatever I would date someone, I would always envision our future together. And now this is actually something I've been thinking about in July, but I'm just so grateful to be here in this moment with my husband. He is, well, okay, I will say he is a perfect person for me, but you know, it's my vision of him. So whatever, we'll, we'll ignore that. But he is the perfect person for me. And if I would hang on people from the past thinking that they were perfect for me, I don't think I would ever move forward. And the difference between me being with my husband and me being with like other people from the past is that I actually see my husband's flaws and I accept them, but I still, you know, love him regardless of what he does or what he doesn't do like he is just the person for me and we are so compatible that it really makes me feel very grateful that i allow myself to move on so now i need to apply this thinking and so other areas of my life like career and job search and if something doesn't work out just close the door another door will be open i actually had a dream where someone locked the door from outside they actually changed the door the main door in our house and <laughs> i what i did i didn't even panic i was like you know what <laughs> we have second door so i'll just go through the second door and when i woke up i had to laugh at that because i'm like yes if not the door then the window and if not the window there's a chimney and if not the chimney like i'll find a way and uh maybe i talked about it in my may self-growth uh, diaries that i'm like a cockroach nothing can really kill me as except like a real death i've been personally through a lot of the things that build my character and 
built my personality and made it stronger so yeah i'm grateful for that and with closing the doors i finally kind of realized not realized but let go of past when it comes to family members and relatives by blood i just let go of them and i think it's just the time to say farewell because not all blood relatives are close to me for a fact i don't speak to like 90 percent of my family members because some of them are just toxic some of them were very bad people when i was growing up they were not supportive and i do not believe in the fact that you have to talk to someone just because they're your relatives if they've proven you themselves as someone who are you know constantly negative and toxic i don't need that in my life and i think i'm fine with that um maybe a year ago two years ago i would still be triggered by certain situations that happened when i was younger but now i feel like i process those things and those emotions and those situations and i feel like I, like don't care it does not influence me and i definitely close that door on the relatives and just thinking that oh my god maybe we could have have you know better relationships or we could have you know visit each other at this point it's a no it will never happen I'm a different person and this is life this happens when I was growing up adults made their own decisions of behaving a certain way that influenced me as a child and I had to carry it into my teenage years and early adulthood I have certain examples in my family where people would not set boundaries and would just accept that behavior i'm not that person if i don't like something i don't like it if someone crosses my boundaries they cross my boundaries and i do not accept that i'm not the type of a person who would say okay you slapped on my one chick you can slap me on my another chick <laughs> like this is not how it happens and i had examples of that in my close family where people would just accept those negative behaviors and i think my way of growing up and breaking this this cycle and breaking the patterns is just saying you know what enough is enough it's a no this is my boundary and you cannot cross that anymore so and you already crossed that so so many times that i cannot possibly even give any time of mine to you even in terms of like thinking about you so yeah that chapter is closed and i was so relieved to realize that oh it doesn't bother me anymore and it's so funny how some people don't understand that when you're a small child or teenager there's certain things that happen that can affect you so much in your adulthood like being bullied just so interesting for me to see those patterns and just to recognize them so this family traumas still affect me but this is where i came into play and this is where i will say enough this is where I break the cycle and it's really cool because I feel like this way I grow and at the end you know family is who you choose to be your family the fact that you were just accidentally born into a group of people <laughs> does not decide anything so yeah I think like this is a big part that I just close the door and I don't have any feelings anymore I'm not attached and frankly I just I really don't care so I just really want to live my life and Keep focusing on myself because i have so much work to do still it's really amazing because every time i think i made a step forward i'm like oh they're like a million more and they just never really disappear as i mentioned before self-growth is really a never-ending job in june i have been also way more creative i've been watching more movies and just tapping into my creativity and continuing the journey of getting my spark back i think in may it kind of was a small path or like small journey smaller steps while in june it became a little bit bigger and in july it's definitely blossoming into something way bigger because i have not been creative for very 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 long time and creativity and self-expression and arts and crafts are just so important to me and not having it in my life definitely i feel like influenced me in a negative way so i'm really excited to tap into my creativity and be more of myself and become more of myself in june i also decided to set another boundary and basically stop reaching out to people who don't reach out to me whenever i see the pattern that i'm the 
one who is like hey how are you hey how are you hey how are you do you want to meet do you want to hang out do you want to do this it's it's exhausting you know and we are all adults i do understand that people are busy people have their own lives but when there is a constant pattern of me just reaching out to those people even with relatives like i mentioned that was that was also something that played into that door being closed because I'm like i just cannot do that anymore if you're not interested in me if you don't want to build relationships it's okay because the truth is relationships is a work and you have to go out of your way to build them no matter what kind of relationships colleagues friends family members romantic relationships it's always the fact that you have to go out of your way and do the work this is just the way it is and so building a community I, I hear so much about it and i'm someone who would really want to build a community but i just realized it's actually a very hard job having people around you it's a hard job because if you want to build a genuine community you have to stay in touch with these people and i don't think i'm capable of doing that this year and i kind of realized that it's it's, I, it was a good attempt to make new friends and meet new people but at this point I just I don't have the right energy to do that so maybe later maybe in a few months or maybe next year you know I ha I'll have more energy to do that and start building my community consciously i am really tired of making space for people who are not interested in me and who don't enjoy my company i think i deserve better and i think they deserve better because if they don't want to hang out with me there's no need of doing that i don't think i'm afraid to lose people because the truth is there are so many of us one way or another way we'll find our right group of people and as i mentioned i think it's like no bad blood i think them and me would both deserve better so and then i think this is something that i'm carrying into july it's just the thing that i'm really trying to find the middle ground for believing that everything will be okay and i will be okay and everything will work out in my favor and my journey in the u.s just literally started it's just so new and i cannot expect big things to happen so soon and what do they say we underestimate what can happen in a year but overestimate what can happen in 10 years so i just have to remind myself about that it's a constant thinking of everything will be okay because i i feel it i i can feel it if i'll just sit down and breathe in breathe out close my eyes i can feel it that everything will be okay everything will work out in my favor in my family's favor you know we will be okay but then this is where i try to find the middle ground everything will be okay versus going outside and seeing craziness of this world it's like i know everything will be okay but it's really hard to focus and be unbothered although i feel like i am becoming better and better when it comes to being unbothered but there's still so much work to do i'm really trying to find this middle ground between you know being realistic and being delusional and believing in myself and believing that everything will be okay yet knowing that a real world is actually happening for real those are actual things that influence influence people's lives already and this is freaking scary yet at the same time i know i have to stay optimistic because if i'll succumb to all this negativity it will not serve me it will not serve my health it will not serve my community it will not serve my family and in the long run it will not work out so this is something that i keep working on and trying to see how can i find the balance july i just really want to keep focusing on being creative and working on myself i really 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 need to build a routine i feel like i had a good routine in spring but then the summer it's i really struggle with the routine and waking up earlier i do love waking up earlier but i just struggle with that for some reason i just want to keep fighting for my life and keep fighting for better things in my life and being a better person so yeah that was my self-growth diary of june kind of interesting month i hope it will never repeat itself again <laughs> but yeah it's it's been fun and fine maybe in the moment it seemed like it was the worst month ever but now i'm just like okay whatever it's it's gone so what's next but yeah i hope your summer is going good and i hope you're working on yourself i hope all your dreams 
coming true and your goals are getting achieved and yeah just be authentic shine your light find your spark and take up your space that's important take up your space and be confident in that and don't let anyone else to cross your boundaries and encroach on your space bye